So I wanted to share this most amazing instrument that Michael Carlito custom designed for me and built for me out of Sapelli Mahogany. His Trans Snare Company has a very unique way of building, designing and building these just amazing fine, fine, fine instruments. Uh, it's, it's really quite a remarkable process and I can't tell you how incredible it was to visit with Michael every step of the way, uh, selecting the woods, talking about the custom lugs, talking about the process, every question I had for him, even the craziest, maybe silliest questions. Uh, he was, he was, oh, he was so gracious with his time and uh, holding my hand through the process. Um, I'm celebrating uh, near 50 years as a professional musician and I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate this milestone for me personally. Um, I started my career when I was 13. I'll be 63 here in another year. And uh, it just, everything, the stars aligned and it was time for me to make these arrangements with Michael. I hope that you'll visit Michael and at his website, transsnaredrum.com. Uh, transsnare so you can see this most remarkable process that he has created uh, and that he follows. Um, he's really of the finest order as far as the quality, uh, the woods, uh, the process, everything is just, the detail is, is, is just amazing, really, as they say. Uh, the goods are in the details and, and, and Michael shines with the level of detail that he brings to his, to his work on every level as a musician, as a composer, as a performer, and of course, uh, in the way that he builds his instruments. This instrument, uh, like I said earlier, is Sapelli uh, Mahogany, which I love. It's a solid wood drum, but in the design that Michael has come up with, he has a unique way of making these uh, panels, these insert panels. Um, and I'll just point to, to these. So between the lugs, these are solid wood inserts. And in this case, my drum is a 12 inch diameter by six inch deep snare drum. And so Michael uses a CNC pro, uh, machine to get the you know, the wood to, to, I guess, to make it, you know, as thin a shell as he's looking for, as well as the, the profile. And sometimes he sculpts. If you go to his site, you'll see what I'm talking about. So at any rate, he has these wonderful joineries that bring this, these two inserts together and they sandwich between what I uh, call the spines so there's no gluing. It's just that the, <laughs> the, the measurements are of like machinist uh, quality. I mean, it's right down to the hundreds of a thousands, uh, thousands, if you will, of an inch. So these, these pieces of wood come into contact so tight, it's, it's, it's amazing, really. And then he secures them by having a, uh, behind the lug, you'll see, a transition or not a really a transition it's a joint and then inside I'll show you the inside of the drum and like I say if you go to visit uh, Michael's site you'll you'll understand more about the process but this particular drum the lugs are uh, he hand he handcrafted these by lathing brass, and then he has a commercially available threaded tube so that he can put his tension screws in. But this piece right here is blood wood, and it really just details the drum. It just adds another element of elegance, really. And this, of course, is his badge, which is brilliant. But on this particular drum, see, I'm a drum set player, but I also am a hand percussionist. And one of the things that I have found that's commercially available that Michael was able to secure for me are two different mechanical devices. One is from DW, it's the butt plate, and it's a five stage butt plate. So it not only adds more tension to the snares, 
But what it does for someone like myself who wants to play his snare drum like a conga drum or like a frame drum, it makes it possible for me to release the tension on the snares uh, so that they literally are coming down off of the drum evenly. What I mean by that is this is the butt plate. So when I turn it all the way off, it drops the snares off of the resonating head, the bottom head, equally to the three stage trick um, tricks uh, throw. And so this has got three stages. And the variation is amazing. So I was very happy that Michael was able to blend those two mechanical pieces that are readily available in this build for me. So I wanted to take a minute and introduce you to the voice of this beautiful drum. And of course, everybody has, it, it, you know, tuning is subjective, but uh, every drum has its range and every person that's playing that instrument, of course, is going to bring something unique to it. So I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about this incredible build and how grateful I am that uh, Michael Carlito built this drum. I'm honored. I, I am so honored. Uh, I can't even, <laughs> you have no idea. Um, uh, I happen to have known Michael for many, many years and to be able to have one of his instruments is just something that is just, uh, it's, it's been a life stream for me since Michael started building these instruments. So again, please go see Michael Carlito online. Visit him at transnaredrum, altogether, .com. Okay, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about my instrument and uh, I hope you'll enjoy uh, the music. Thank you so much. <laughs>